welcome to the channel. Harvest season has officially begun. And I guess we could have said that a long time ago because we were harvesting out of the garden. But this is a different kind of harvest. It's potato harvest day. We got the middle buster plow attached to the back. This should make harvest of potatoes much easier than last year. Last year was a little bit of a pain because we didn't really have a good method and we ended up having to do it by hand. So this is gonna work a lot better. I'm not exactly sure how our potatoes did because I didn't really dig any up. The plants are all dead, so it's time to get them out of the ground. We'll see how well this season was. We have everything mowed, we're ready to go. Hopefully the only thing we have to do by hand is pick them up. And if I wanted to really get fancy, well, we'd get a potato harvester. I might have to change the angle on that, I'm not exactly sure. But we're gonna drop it and find out. Well, that's what we got so far. There could be more in here. It's actually throwing them right back in the, the hole, which is kind of nice. Again, there, there could be some out here. I don't know. Dig around a little bit, find out, but definitely not the greatest turnout so far, but anything's better than nothing, I guess. And these plants had a lot of weeds to contend with up here as well, just like the corn and everything else. So it doesn't surprise me that our yield may not be as, as good as it was last year. It is kicking some of them out here in the ridge. There's definitely a decent amount as you go out through. We'll scratch around a little, make sure we're going deep enough. And we'll probably bring maybe like a, a rake or something just to double check the kind of the where that push the dirt and make sure there's not too many out. Cause obviously it is throwing some out here. So we'll have to be mindful of that. We have two more rows to do. This is going to go 10 times quicker than last year. I dug around a little bit. There are some a little deeper down there. I know the dirt's falling back in too. So I think what I'm going to do, I'll go down through the rest of these, the last two rows, and then I'll come back through and I'll throw all these maybe in the loader. And then I'll run back down through each row just to get a little bit deeper, make sure we definitely got all of them. will say having all the grass and stuff in here definitely didn't help matters it just wanted to bunch up yeah I'm gonna pick up all these that we do have and there's definitely a lot buried in here so I'll pick up what I can find what I can see and then we'll run down through each row again I think I got most of what I could get. I could bring a stone rake up here or a cultivator and run it down the center of each row. 
to try and get anything that was pushed to the outside that I didn't see that got buried. I did try running the middle buster along each side too, and I did find a couple handfuls in each row. So I know I'm sure there's some were missing too. So I'll probably take the bucket and just smooth all this back out, back drag everything. Maybe some will pop out in between here. If they do, they do, and if not, no big deal. I'm not out here trying to get every single last one. A lot of these are smaller than they were last year. But hey, a little bit of food is still food. This is what I found just back dragging. So another handful. I'm not too worried about smoothing this out to make it perfect because essentially this is gonna get planted probably with winter wheat up here. So it's gonna get tilled up and everything. So I'm not too concerned about making it perfect right now cause it's gonna change later anyway. And this is kind of what we got majority of them are probably about golf ball size you have a bunch that are in here about that size a little bigger a little smaller than a baseball it's probably maybe half three quarters of a bushel basket i'm gonna guess again not not the turnout we had like last year but much different conditions this year so it is what it is but now, we still have a decent amount of potatoes to last us for a while. Let's see how good I am at dumping them in a basket. That was a little bit more than I thought. It's pretty much a full bushel basket and we're gonna keep these, a bunch of these smaller ones for Maybe like a soup of some sort. I know there's some more mixed in here. I didn't think about it till I was three quarters done, but not too shabby. Just makes me want some mashed potatoes right now. Anyway, that, that went much easier than last year. I will say that. Now I can store them and hopefully they last and keep and be good to go. Ooh, these are little geese. Little geese. Say potatoes. Yeah. Taters. Ooh, yeah, you don't want to eat it right now. Oh, this is it. It's so crazy. Say taters. Taters. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below. As always, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.